My name is Steve Stracer and my life has been changed. When the church decided to do local serve projects this year, I was pretty excited, but at the same time, I was a little concerned. I had a lot of health issues that were bothering me and I wasn't real sure how I would be able to serve. Uh, but then I got a call from the church and they were asking if I'd be willing to uh, serve as a coordinator and uh, organizer for the Engage project. So I, I agreed to do that and it was a great fit. Uh, I, the physical limitations didn't bother me at all and I was able to serve and, and, uh, and, and do what I wanted to do as far as serving with the church that summer. What have you learned about homelessness through this process? There are a lot more homeless in Kingsport than I thought. I didn't realize there was so many, uh, the homeless situation was as bad as it is. And more personal, I got to meet a lot of the homeless people during this project. And many of them have been homeless for years, uh, even since their teenage years, due to bad family situations or alcohol, drug abuse, those type of things, or just financial situations. And, and what I've learned is they want to get out of that, but they need a helping hand. They need somebody to come along. They're so far down that they need somebody to come along and help them up. And uh, that's probably the thing I learned the most about the homeless during this, this time. So how has serving the homeless changed your relationship with Jesus? I have found that God is willing to use you if you just make yourself available. And I wasn't real sure how I was gonna help, but just by making myself available, God provided a way for me to help and to serve and to serve Him. The other thing I've learned is, is God's faithfulness. Um, meeting Jonathan, who is over the Engage project, uh, Engage Tri-Cities, his grandfather, I found out from him that his grandfather, his father, and then him have prayed for years that they could do something in this area of Kingsport to shelter the homeless, to provide jobs for the homeless. And they had prayed for years and nothing had really come about until just recently. And all of a sudden things started happening, but then just as they really thought they were getting going, there were hurdles thrown up, roadblocks in their way. And, but they didn't give up. They, were, they knew God would be faithful and they continued to pray. And next thing you know, they were blessed beyond anything they would imagine in these apartments that we worked at. And so I learned more about God's faithfulness and, and His, His promises to His people to be faithful if they would just be faithful and honor and trust Him. Serving changed you? Well, as I mentioned before, I can't have any excuses about not willing to serve or do something. You know, it doesn't matter if there's physical limitations, financial limitations, whatever you may have that keep you from serving. If you just make yourself available, God will, God will use you. The other thing I've learned, which I'm a little hesitant to share on video, but I feel like it's worth it. Um, I had a filter removed from my eyes. Over the last several years, our media streams and our, our social media have painted such a negative picture of the homeless. And through these projects with Engage and through serving, I found that the filters have skewed my thoughts and I haven't been able to see the homeless the way Christ would see them. So the biggest change that I've seen there is that Christ, I can see them now the way Christ would see them and those filters have been removed. 